Hey guys, this is Kike Autry, LPCI at the Counseling Center at Cinco Ranch. And today I want to talk to you about the Buddhist notion of the two arrows and how that connects to the work that I do in therapy. In Buddhist circles, they tell this story about the two arrows that strike us in life. The first arrow is out of our control, and it's the arrow of pain. If we were to think about this arrow in contemporary terms, in the language we would use in therapy, the first arrow, the arrow of pain, or all the things that are involuntary, that are out of our control, that we're going to experience in life, regardless of our ethnicity, race, gender, social status, religion, it doesn't matter. This is a part of what it means to be human. So whenever we go through a difficult situation like a breakup or if we fail an exam in college or if we tank a presentation at work, that stuff is going to feel like shit. When we break up, we're going to grieve. When we fail, when we make a mistake, it's going to hurt. We're going to feel bad about ourselves. And that's the first arrow that we cannot change. But there's a second arrow that the Buddhists talk about. And if we were to think about it in terms of contemporary language, the terms of modern psychotherapy, this second arrow that the Buddhists call suffering are all the stories that we tell ourselves about the first arrow. It's all the narratives that we construct about what this pain must mean for us in our life and what it says about us as people. And so when we break up, the first, the first arrow is the grief and the pain we feel in our heart. But the second arrow are all the messages that we believe and that we tell ourselves about what the relationship meant and what it says about us. We were a failure. This always happens to us. I'm never going to be able to find my perfect soulmate in the future. If we fail an exam or we tank a meeting at work, we begin to tell ourselves that we're stupid that we're not eloquent, that we're never going to amount to anything in life, that we're just going to be a failure. As the Buddhist pointed out, as a good therapist will point out, we have these involuntary emotions, sensations, thoughts that are out of our control. And at some level, we can't really do much with those. But what really gets us stuck, what really gets us in trouble, what really creates that emotional suffering are all the ways that we catastrophize and build and erect these giant narratives about what all those initial automatic and involuntary thoughts must mean about us, what they say about us. And guys, this really is the work of therapy. It's about identifying the first arrow, identifying those involuntary thoughts and emotions and sensations, and then doing the difficult work together around not letting those become these rigid and awful stories that we're telling about ourselves and about our relationships and about our world that leave us constricted, inflexible, and feeling a lot of pain. You may not be able to do much about the involuntary thoughts, but there's a lot that you can do to distance yourself from the thoughts, to begin to reframe your thoughts and to begin to take steps towards living out your values in a way that's consistent with the person that you want to be. So if that's compelling to you, that's something you want to learn more about, I would encourage you to reach out to me, schedule an appointment, and let's start a therapeutic journey together. You can do that by checking out our website, CincoRanchCounseling.com, or you can go to my personal blog, and there you'll find more information about me and my approach, exploring masculinities, Q-U-I-Q-U-E-A-U-T-R-E-Y.com. Thanks so much, guys. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like it, share it with your friends, reach out and let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about. Have an awesome day.